hey y'all welcome back to my channel how are you guys it is 7 30 a.m on a saturday morning and i decided to film a vlog for you guys since it is actually quiet in my building i actually have to get up and film before the building wakes up that is why i don't film as often as i like to because i don't get any peace and quiet here to film between my neighbors banging over my head all day and letting the kids run through the house and my block literally turning into a block party almost every day. It's just no peace and quiet time for me to film. But I have time now and I better utilize it. So let's get to what we're here for. So I came to show you guys some more things that I bought for spring. And we're going to start with this gold coach trail bag. Oh my goodness, isn't she a beauty? I actually wore her out for the first time last weekend to a baby shower with this all brown monotone outfit and it was such a cute outfit. So this bag is part of the Quilties collection and I actually was able to find it on the outlet site on sale. And it has a detachable strap to make it a crossbody. And although the bag is tiny, it has a whole lot of space inside. So I can fit everything I need for the day, including my phone. Especially now, since I bought myself the iPhone 13 mini. It's one of my many Mother's Day gifts. But when I don't want to open a bag, I just slide my phone in the back like that. I'm not wearing it crossbody, like my phone is protected. But it has these double zippers. And you actually have to kind of put it down and get it support to zip it. And it has this detachable crossbody strap, which is really pretty. And I like it because it's a different kind of gold from the bag. So you can wear it with like different kinds of gold jewelry and it still looks good. And... Let me just put that on crossbody real quick for you guys so you can see how it looks. Crossbody. Oh my goodness. I am like so in love with this bag. And I got it on sale with an additional discount with tax and everything. It was like $1.90. And I was like on the fence about it. I really wanted a gold bag and not a clutch, but nothing too big. Nothing too gaudy or glittery just glamorous and this bag is so me it's perfect i absolutely love it it was still available so i'm going to check and see if it's still available and i'll link it for you guys in case you want it and now let's move on to some more shoes so i've been doing more purging of my closet i don't shop too much i usually shop once per season after I do a big purge and I make a list of the things that I want or need but I've actually been purging some more and I found that I wanted some black mules but nothing with the heel too high because I don't wear super high heels anymore my knees and my back is like nah and I need shoes that I can walk in because once it gets nice out I do a lot of walking and I'm here in New York City um, I live in a neighborhood where there's so much to do within walking distance and then sometimes I like to venture after work and just walk so I need shoes that's going to be cute and good for walking so i went into nordstrom rack looking for some black mules and i immediately found these mules from vince commuto and these shoes are so freaking cute like look at this hill the hill is the perfect height it is not too high at all and this bend it's so cushy and soft and it has like a whole bunch of padding in the insole. It's like so cute and comfortable and the sole is nice as well. And as you can see, I found these on sale for $49.99 and I couldn't be more happy. They are all leather and I cannot wait to wear these all spring and summer and it's a classic style it's not too trendy so I don't have to worry about them going out of style and not wanting to wear them that's why I really don't buy too many trendy things I stick to um, more classic pieces that's my style because I like my things to last 
And I got another pair of shoes from Coach. So I usually don't have a lot of flat shoes and I've been trying to build up my flat shoe collection but it's been hard because I'm like super picky when it comes down to flat shoes and I can never find anything that I like and I wanted some loafers and I really like the Gucci loafers however I don't pay $800 for shoes and I especially wouldn't pay that amount for loafers like I said I do a lot of walking in New York City see I can't get nothing done it's always some noise <laughs> But I do a lot of walking here in New York City and my shoes take a beating. I probably spend more at the cobbler than I spend on shoes. So I don't wish to buy anything super expensive that I'm going to damage. And quite frankly, I'm just not into all of that. So anyway, I found these loafers on the Coach Outlet. And they're usually $99, but I was able to get them for about... $85 during the coach friends and family sale that was just happening the other week and they're called let me see what's the name the style name of these they're called the Haley loafer and they're pretty much dupes to I believe the Gucci Brixton loafers and let me just take the Padding out so I can give you guys a better look at these loafers. And yeah, that's the loafers. They're all leather and they have like the gold buckle that's similar to the Gucci horse bit buckle, but it has like C's on the buckle. They are really well made and you can actually wear them folded down. Well, I bought um, heel grips to put in mine because I don't plan to wear it folded down. And being that my feet is narrow, they slip a little. I'm figuring the slipping will stop once the shoes are broken in and like they mold to my foot. But they don't slip enough to get a smaller size. However, you can fold them down and like wear them like a mule. I don't plan to wear my shoes like that because I don't like the way that looks. To me, it looks like your shoes don't fit and you're just walking on the back of them uh, something that we were not allowed to do when we were younger you could not walk on the back of your shoes and now it's trendy so it's kind of weird to me but anyway these loafers are super cute and the soles are made really well and i've been wearing them around the house i haven't worn them outside yet because for some reason went to show back up in new york city so we have to keep our ankles covered or we'll be cold but i can't wait to wear these they are made for walking they're comfortable right out the box no pinching my toes no cutting into the side to my feet like super comfortable and i'm glad that i invested in those but at a good deal now let's move on to some spring jewelry. Now, ever since I got my Helix pairs and an update on that, guys, it is doing so much better. Like the swelling went down. I still have some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and my dermatologist prescribed some um, hydroquinoline to kind of lighten my ear back up and it's been doing really good. But the swelling went down. I actually got my post downsized and I'll be getting it downsized again next week. But my helix is doing really well and ever since I got my helix pairs I've been like really trying to get like my ear curation game going and usually I just wear like big hoops and little studs but I've been experimenting with more jewelry and currently this is my favorite setup I got this little set of hoops from Amazon and it's like a set of tiny huggies that goes from a larger size to a smaller size and I love them because like I can wear them with anything with dressy outfits sporty outfits on a weekend like now when I'm gonna run errands I can wear them to work they like go with absolutely everything and when I want to wear something bigger I found these hoops which are also from Amazon these chunky hoops and I usually switch out the largest pair of hoops let me show you guys like real quick. I switch out the largest pair of Huggies and I put in this gold hoop 
and then it changes up the look a bit like when I'm going out and I want something large I usually wear super large gold hoops but I like the toned down look of these chunky hoops I believe these are 40 mm and I'm probably going to get the largest size that they come in as well which I believe is 50 mm and don't worry I'm going to link all of these things for you guys in the description box and I also got another pair of little huggies and these they have some cubic zirconia stones in them I'm trying not to drop them because they will be lost in my house but they have little cubic zirconia stones in them and I like them because the stones are like the same size and style of the stone and my nose ring and um, when I'm really looking to get cute and fancy I switch out that last little huggy and I put those little um, cubic zirconian huggies in and they look really good and when I went to Nordstrom Rack to look for shoes I also found this set of studs and these studs are super cute. I plan to wear this one in my second hole and this one in my third hole. And it looks really good with a pair of huggies in my first hole or some hoops in the first hole. And it looks really good with my helix piercing. So I'm excited to just try different um, variations of this jewelry for my air curation game this spring and summer is going to be super dope and I'm looking forward to getting some more pieces. I said I wasn't getting no more piercings because of the experience I had with my helix but I don't know. I'm thinking about a, a forward helix piercing. Um, we'll, we'll think about that later. But last but not least, I'm wanting, oh wait, before I get to the beauty stuff, I also found these rings from Amazon and it's like uh, I keep zooming back in I might as well stay zoomed up but it's like the dome rings that everyone's been wearing and it's like they're they're kind of trendy I wouldn't spend a lot of money on them so I just found this set from Amazon they're like gold plated stainless steel and they look pretty and shiny I've only worn them once and it hasn't turned my fingers green so that's all that matters but we'll see how long they last without turning colors now we can get to the beauty goodies I have a little tray of stuff here y'all so I'm going to start with the things that I got from the Sephora sale a couple of weeks ago and I've actually never tried um, Sephora beauty products aside from their brushes so I decided to get um, a couple of things from the sale and I'm glad I did because I really like the things that I did get so I got this waterproof brow pencil in shade ebony and this retractable and I'm actually wearing it on my brows right now I don't have on anything but brow pencil and gel and a little bit of mascara because I have a dermatologist appointment and I'm getting a chemical pill so I don't put anything on my face. But I'm going to do a few swatches of these for you guys but let me just show you everything I got first. So I got this brow pencil in ebony and it works really well like it's super thin the pencil and it's retractable and I get my brows tinted to cover the grays and I wear my brows very natural so I don't have to do too much but just go in and fill in the spaces where I have gaps because my brows grow really thin and I just go in with that brow pencil and fill in the gaps and I really love it for that and then I got this Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Molasses because I needed a new brown lip liner to wear with my glosses. It's a retractable pencil and I love it because it glides on so smooth and like no pulling or drying out the lips. And I tried that for the first time last weekend with my favorite gloss. The Fenty Gloss Balm and Hot Chocolate and they go so well together. Like they look so good together. I'm going to swatch that pencil. 
for you as well. And then I got this Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm and Teddy. And it's like a really pretty neutral gloss. Actually, I can put this on. I can wear gloss because that has nothing to do with a chemical pill. So, and look at that. Sanitation. <laughs> the city that never sleeps, y'all. Literally. Literally. But, we gonna get through this vlog. I'm gonna put a little more of that on. But yeah, that's pretty. It's just like a, a everyday neutral gloss, but it also looks good with that lip liner. And then, like, I usually do simple eyeliner. Unless I'm going out, I'll do a wing liner. But for my simple everyday look, I just like a waterproof eyeliner pencil. And I like line my uh, line and then I line my waterline. Sometimes I like to smudge it. And this waterproof retractable eyeliner from Sephora, it has like a nice size pencil, retractable point. But then it also has like a smudger on the tip so it makes it perfect for when I like to smudge my um, eyeliner. And let me just swatch that for you guys so you can see how pigmented it is. And I'm going to swatch the brow pencil next to it. And that molasses lip liner and I'm wearing a gloss I don't have to swatch that for y'all but that is the eyeliner get a little closer that is the brow pencil and that is the lip liner and molasses like it's the perfect brow lip liner so pretty so let me show you guys what else I got from the Sephora sale I got this caffeine eye cream from the Inky List. And this is my first time trying this brand. Um, I had heard of it, but I never tried anything. And I see that their products are super inexpensive. Like, I think during the sale, I paid less than $10 for this. And I suffer from, like, really bad dark circles. They're hereditary, so nothing really lightens them. However, when my eyes are puffy and dark, they just look really bad. And I don't get enough sleep, so that happens a lot. So I've been using this caffeine eye cream in the morning when I wake up. And I actually used it this morning. And I feel like it does work with the puffiness because I woke up so tired this morning with my eyes super puffy. And they don't look so bad right now, especially since I don't have on any makeup. So I like that and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works for me. So, aside from those things, I got a couple of things from Amazon. Starting with this NYX Brow Glue. And I actually have it on with my brow pencil today. And I really like it because it's like a thick brow gel that really holds your brows in place. Like, once you do your brows and you put this gel on, like, your brows will not budge. I don't have to worry about them wearing off during the day or moving out of place. It's just really thick and you have to put on, like, a thin layer. Or if not, it has the potential to, like, flake. Let me try to show you guys the brush yeah it has the potential to like flake off if you put on too much so I usually just brush it off on the side to the um, little container and just put a thin layer to get my brows into place and I don't have any problems with it flaking and then I got this lip mask and it's called sweet dreams with vitamin E, aloe vera, and grapeseed oil. Apparently, I need glasses, y'all. But I was looking for a dupe for the Laneige lip mask. I've never tried it, but I feel like it's too expensive for a lip mask. Although, I'll probably eventually try it to compare. But I got this to try out because my lips get really dry as I'm always super dehydrated. No matter how much water I drink. Speaking of water, let me take a sip. But yeah, my lips get really dry, so I have to keep them extremely moisturized, and I have to like do scrubs a lot to get rid of the dry skin. So I've been doing my scrubs at night and using this lip mask at night. Let me open it up and show you guys. 
it's just like pink and it's strawberry flavor and it actually smells like strawberries and has like a slight strawberry taste without tasting waxy and it's really been keeping my lips soft and supple and keeping that dry skin away so I'm really loving that and now last but not least I'm going to show you guys just a couple of things I got from the Fenty Beauty sale now I had purchased the eavesdrop skin tint last spring and I only wore it a couple of times because although I really love the formula the shade 21 was the closest to my complexion and although it was almost right it leans a little olive so it tends to make me look a little gray I have to like warm it up with setting powder and my bronzer and all of that sometimes I don't want to do all of that especially if I'm just putting on a simple skin tint to go out so from the Fenty Beauty sale I bought shade 20 to see if I can mix them together and get a better match and shade 20 and 21 together actually works really well for me I did a full look with them last weekend and it's like the perfect match especially once I do my setting powder and everything else and it's like I haven't been wearing a full face of foundation like since we've been going through this whole panini and I'm just starting to get back into doing my makeup again and now I feel so uncomfortable with a full face of makeup and I don't like anything heavy on my face so as I ease my way back into wearing makeup I've just been wearing skin tint and I really love the Fenty Ease Drop skin, drip, skin tint and like I said I got shades 20 and 21 and then um, I also got this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer and it's called Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer in Invisipink. And I usually use Urban Decay um, Primer Potion and I'm finding that it doesn't work as well as it used to for me. I have hooded lids and when I put on my eyeshadow, if I don't use a good primer, the shadow creases right in my lid. So I decided that after all these years, I wanted to try something new. And since Fenty Beauty was having a sale, I got this Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. And it's so bomb, y'all. Like, I used it. <laughs> I went out last week. And I, don't, I haven't been getting out much lately. Like, I'm just easing my way back outside. So I keep talking about some what I wore out last weekend because I went outside last weekend. And I'm proud of myself. But I'll be going out more and I'll be sharing that with you guys. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because I'm planning to show y'all everything. It's just going to be out and about and having fun. I'm planning to start traveling again and I want to share all of that with you guys. But let's stay focused. We're talking about this primer right now. and um, I used it to do like a look. And first of all, it made the shadows extremely vibrant. Like you put, let me open up the tube so you can see the wand. And all it takes is a small amount. And I put it on each eyelid and just rub it in and let it uh, dry for a couple of minutes. And then I put the eyeshadow on top of it. And it's like you could feel the shadow grip into the primer. Everything is vibrant. And then I just did my whole eye look. And at the end of the night, like I was out. For a good, let's say, five, six hours or more. Probably longer than that. And when I came in, I was looking a little greasy. <laughs> but my eyeshadow was in place. Like, I just did it and there was absolutely no creasing. So, so far, I really love that eyeshadow primer. And I think I showed you guys everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. And like I said, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to do my best to post more often, even if I have to get up at the crack of dawn when these people are quiet so I can get this content for y'all. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. And I wish you all a happy Mother's Day in advance if you are a mother. See you guys soon.